Hi, boys and girls, Vasha and Vidya. In the last uh, video, uh, I told you about the QPSK constellation, the effect of the uh, QPSK, uh, effect of AWG on the QPSK constellation. And uh, we demonstrated with Python, and uh, then, uh, then we understood the probability of error. Now we uh, go into uh, how to actually build a transmitter and receiver, how to build a QPSK transmitter and receiver. So let me start with that presentation. So objectives of this video is that you will learn the block diagram of QPSK transmitter and receiver. Then you will observe a demo of the QPSK transmitter and receiver with Python and uh, you will verify the BRS and R plot, whether it is according to the equation we learned, that is whether it is uh, 1 minus 1 minus uh, QD by 2 sigma whole square. Then you will familiarize uh, QPSK transmitter and receiver with uh, USRP and uh, lab view. So if you see the transmitter, uh, yeah, the block diagram looks like this. First I have a bi random binary stream uh, that, that contains zeros and ones. Now then there is a uh, block that is a polar non return to zero encoder. There is nothing fancy about that. Only the logic zero is mapped into a minus one and the logic one is mapped onto a uh, plus one. So that binary, if that binary stream is B, a 2B minus one will uh, make it a, a, a polar a non return to zero stream. Then uh, th this we have to uh, interleave into two, uh, I mean uh, we, we have to divide into two streams. Uh, suppose it's a stream with x0, x1, x2, I take the even uh, indices and all indices separately. So even indices like x, suppose this, uh, the whatever is coming to the demultiplexer is x and its uh, values are x0, x1, x2, x3, etc. Then x0, x2, x4, uh, that even uh, indices, uh, even uh, indexed sequences, uh, they go through this channel. And uh, the old indexed uh, sequences, uh, sequence, uh, that is x1, x3, x5, etc., they go in this path. A demultiplexer ensures that. Now, uh, when uh, I discuss uh, uh, The signal constellation, we uh, said that QPSK is, is represented with two basis functions, uh, phi 1t and phi 2t. I told you that it is uh, like a vector that is uh, go, that has variation in both x and y direction, like a 2x plus 3y, 2ax plus 3ay, that's, that has a variation in uh, the x direction and y direction. So likewise, QPSK signal is such signal that it has variation in both the phi 1 direction as well as the phi 2 direction. So here there is a multiplication by the basis function cos 2 pi of ct and here is a multiplication by the basis function root of 2 by t sine 2 pi of ct. Then these multiplied signals are, uh, now each uh, is, this is multiplied by b even t, so it is b even t into root of 2 by t cos 2 pi of ct and this is b odd t uh, uh, root of 2 by t sine 2 pi of ct. b even t are the even uh, indices and uh, b odd are the odd uh, indices of the input signal, input bit stream. So then they are added in uh, this uh, uh, add of circuit and uh, out goes your QPSK signal. Now when it comes to the QPSK receiver, uh, as usual the BPSK, QPSK, they are all uh, coherent uh, uh, type uh, system. So uh, at the receiver I have to have a copy of 5.1D and I think 5.2D. So the received signal is simultaneously applied to these uh, two where this is, this is multiplied by 5.1D and this is uh, multiplied by 5.2D. So this path will be receiving my even uh, indices, uh, even indexed uh, uh, bits, and uh, this is receiving my odd indexed bits. Okay, this here it is multiplied by cos uh, two pi of CD. So th this uh, product and uh, this thing, this is equal to a drop product in vector algebra. So then a zero threshold is uh, then a threshold is taken. This is like two BPSK receivers working in parallel. Here uh, uh, there is a decision device. So if it is uh, this is a uh, one BPSK receiver. Uh, so the, here if it is greater than zero, one is uh, selected. If it is less than zero, minus one or zero is selected. So here uh, uh, I, I multiply by phi two t. So this is a sine function. So integrate and dump is there. So that means uh, th this is equal to another dot product with the phi two t. So that uh, I get a magnitude here single magnitude here so that is uh, uh, compared whether it is above the threshold or not if it is above the th 
threshold, uh, the bit receive is a one. If it is below the threshold, uh, the bit receive is a zero. Then they are multiplexed together because in the transmitter they are demultiplexed into even and odd sequences, odd indexed sequences. Here in the multiplexer they are again combined, and uh, this is uh, received the binary stream. Now we have to actually make a QPSK receiver uh, with the help of Python, and uh, uh, we have to we have to see how this uh, behave. So for that uh, I will show you a, a simple Python code. So here uh, this is a simple Python code uh, doing this uh, transmission and reception. Uh, now uh, so these uh, two uh, uh, modules are uh, involved for scientific computation and plotting. Uh, this is a function for interleaving the bits uh, to a blank array, we uh, append, uh, uh, if x, x and y are the inputs, we append uh, x, xi and yi. Then the resulting array is concatenated. Then a random uh, bits of uh, uh, size 2000 that is generated. Then uh, these bits are demultiplexed by means of this equation. So zero even sequence is uh, generated as x0 is to length x is to 2. So it will uh, separate the even indices and uh, this will separate the odd indices. And note that it starts at 1, x1, 2, or alien x uh, is to 2. So it will take x1, x3, x5, etc. While x even will have x0, x2, x4, etc. Now I have to make uh, two carriers uh, that is 512t and 520t. Uh, so I generate a, a say, le let us take that the bit duration is a uh, unity and uh, make only d second. I take it as a unity. So I, I take, generate a vector on t with the increment say 0.001 and I take a five five times this uh, th this is the frequency of the carrier so the old carrier is uh, root of 2 by t sine 2 pi of ct and the even carrier is root of 2 by t cos 2 pi of ct then uh, I have uh, I, gen I uh, uh, initiate uh, two blank arrays for the QPSK signal for the old part and the even part now, if the bit is a, if the order bit uh, 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 is a one, uh, now uh, this i is from uh, zero to n by two because uh, I divided the block into two, the even and the odd part. So if x odd i is one, uh, uh, the QPSK uh, array is uh, uh, odd array is appended uh, with a carrier odd, or else it is appended with a minus one to carrier odd because it, it looks like a BPSK system. Uh, one for one. Uh, one, one arm of the uh, QPSK system looks like a BPSK system. Likewise, I do for the even part. Now, the QPSK signal is generated by concatenating and adding them together. So, this uh, up to this line that uh, uh, creates the transmitter we saw in the last slides. As a transmitted signal, transmitted signal is ready. Now, we have to think about the additive white cosine noise channel. For this, I uh, like in as I did in the previous case for the BPSK receiver, I assume that the noise level in dB that is from minus 60 dB to say 5 dB, and uh, I compute the noise variance that must be 10 raised to minus 0.1 into noise level dB. So then I compute the energy of the bit, uh, that, is a, uh, that, that is the energy of the bit, and I compute the signal to noise ratio, and I compute the value in dB. Now I have to receive these uh, uh, bits for different noise variances. So I initiate a BR array, initialize a B array, a blank B R array. So for various uh, noise variances, I, uh, I, here I make a receiver. Uh, where uh, th th this instead of the uh, here the product is taken the order carrier that is multiplied by the received bits uh, during one uh, bit interval then the instead of the integration I took a sum because these are all discrete values uh, it doesn't matter much so then uh, likewise I computed the inter even the intermediate value for the even one these are the uh, these are the values that go into the uh, decision device so here it also the, this uh, even carrier that is multiplied by the received carrier uh, by the, the receive even carrier is multiplied by the received signal uh, during one uh, bit interval. Then if it is uh, in the inter odd is zero, I uh, add uh, one to the received array, odd received array, or else I add zero. Likewise, uh, I do for the even array also. 
then I interleave them, I join them together, like uh, uh, I put these uh, bits back together in the correct order, like x0, x1, etc., or x dash 0, x dash 1, etc. So uh, I wrote a function in the beginning for this interleaving. So then I compute the BER value, the transmitter bits and received bits, the difference between the transmitted bits and received bits array that is taken and the sum is taken so that uh, whenever there is a change, a one is generated. So the sum of that uh, gives a uh, total number of errors in that. When I divide by n, uh, that is a total length of the um, bits, say 2000, I get the BR value. So this BR value is appended to the blank BR array. So in the first figure, I plot the QPSK signal and uh, this is to observe the uh, change in phase. And uh, then I plot the BR array against uh, S uh, BR array against SNRDB. Now, once I have the BR array plotted, I have to check with the, my original K, uh, check with the mathematical equation I developed. So it is uh, uh, th this actually an expanded form of the that equation I derived. If you uh, take a square, if you expand that equation, you will get at uh, you will reach at this theoretical BNR. Uh, sorry, the theoretical BER. Now I plot the theoretical BER over the same plot to compare the practical uh, the BER with the theoretical BER. So let me run this code. You can see that if I run this code, run uh, qpsktrans.py. Now the first uh, figure shows the QPSK signal. Now let us zoom this and uh, see how the output looks like. I zoom for a very small area. I zoom for a You can see that here there is a phase change. All the phase changes happen at uh, th this. Uh, this phase change is happening at uh, seven five five four, and uh, uh, this also uh, th this is happening at uh, uh, say uh, five 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 four, and uh, th this is happening at uh, uh, another phase. All all these are at odd. All these phase changes do happen at odd multiples of uh, pi by four. So let me close this. This is a this signal. This is a QPSK signal, and here you can see the uh, uh, BR versus SNR. Now this uh, uh, looks like a Q function. We know that it's a combination of uh, error function, complementary error functions, and this dotted curve uh, shows the theoretical curve. The dotted curve shows the theoretical curve, and uh, the wiggly curve that shows the practical one. The how many bits are in error in actual uh, transmission. So th this is a very, very, very important curve. So we, uh, with this experiment, we demonstrate that uh, uh, the equation we derived is correct. Now let me go back to the presentation. Now this is an experimental setup by Medical College of Engineering, Karnataka. These are uh, USRP devices, uh, uh, like for, like I did uh, in the case of the BPSK transmitter and receiver. I made a QPSK transmitter and receiver. Uh, this this is a transmitter and uh, this is a receiver. Uh, so uh, there is only a half a meter separation between that. So this is the QPSK transmitter uh, uh, BI. Uh, the front panel looks like uh, the, the, you can see that the, the, the here I can give the uh, network ID of the machine and uh, here I can give the uh, carrier frequency, uh, I think it is 912 megahertz. Uh, here you can see the signal constellation, the BPSK signal, con uh, sorry, the QPSK signal constellation here. And uh, this is a block diagram for the transmitter. And uh, this is a block diagram for the receiver. And uh, here you can see the uh, front panel of the receiver. We, we can see some effect of noise and all here, but uh, the constellation is uh, almost correctly received. So this is how I make it in LabVIEW and uh, USRP. If you can afford an ETAS uh, uh, board, you can try on that uh, physical device. Uh, you, with, uh, you, you can encode in, uh, you can port the circuit in uh, Python and uh, download to the ETAS board and uh, play around with that. Now coming to the end of the video, uh, what you have learned. Uh, so in this uh, presentation, you have learned the uh, block diagram of the QPSK transmitter and receiver. And then you observe the demo of the QPSK transmitter and receiver with Python and you verified the BRSNR plot.
So you understood the probability of error and you verified the probability equation for the probability of error. And then you saw the uh, experimental setup with the USRP and the lab view, the, the one for uh, creating the QPSK transmitter and receiver. And that is the end of this presentation. Bye-bye.